going on everybody? It's me, it's a comic book preacher coming back at you with a, another video. Um, I actually hadn't planned on uh, making a video today. Uh, planned on waiting until this weekend. Was expecting a mystery box. Uh, told me on the, the tracking that it would be here Saturday, the last time I checked. And then I got an email from eBay saying that my package was delivered. So uh, super excited about that. It's the... Uh, it's another one of uh, Shelby Comics mystery boxes, um, the 2.0, and the last one was just a total banger, and so I am ready for another one. I cannot wait, but before I jump into that mystery box, I want to show you guys a couple of things that I have picked up. Uh, actually got them today as well, um, and I apologize. I'm wearing my work uniform. I just got home from work. It's about 6.55 on Thursday evening. I had to work late, so I've been actually at work for 12 hours. Today is a long day, but um, happy to be home and happy to be doing this. A couple things I, I picked up. Now, uh, those of you that have been watching my videos and also um, keep up with Stevie B um, on his video, that you know that our local comic book store is not that great, that it's not the not ran by the best guy. It's not, um, I don't like patronizing um, his shop and giving him money because he's kind of a jerk. But that being said, sometimes um, options are kind of limited. So um, you guys know that Venom 34 hit this week, and now that is on my pull list at my my LC the LCS I use. That's um, a couple hours away, <clears throat> but I only have them pulling the A covers. And there was a couple variants that I thought were pretty cool that I wanted to pick up um, of uh, Venom 34. Um, and here's this first one. I got it. I think that's pretty awesome stoked about that and here's the other one pretty awesome um, and then I picked up the uh, spawn 316 variant again spawn is on my pull list I don't have them pulling any variants because that can get really expensive because I pay for it once a month and so I just stick to the eight covers <clears throat> so when I see a cool variant you know they have it out I'll go pick one up that's a black and white sketch variant I just thought that was sick. I'm a big fan of that. So, um, and then a couple books I picked up. I'm not a big DC collector, but I do love the character of Swamp Thing. And so I picked up uh, Swamp Thing 1 variant, and that's not, Swamp Thing's not on my pull list, but I picked up the Swamp Thing 1 variant, and I apologize for the glare, and Swamp Thing 2. Um, so that was last week's and, and this week's. So, that's pretty cool. Now, one of the cool things I found in the wild this week, and um, I've been going on my lunch breaks, I've been going to different um, like flea markets and secondhand stores and stuff around the, the town where I work. Um, there's a, quite a, a, an abundance of them, and I've been kind of hitting them on my lunch breaks whenever I, I get a chance. And so I went to one that's in a little town called Tawny Town, Arkansas, and I went in, asked the, the guy, you know, if they had any comic books. He said, well, they don't have a booth, you know, specifically for it. He said, but you're welcome to walk to walk around and check out, you know, some of the um, the different vendors there have, you know, miscellaneous stuff here and there. And so not expecting a whole lot, went through and uh, came across a little wicker basket that had about 10 comic books in it. And they were a dollar a piece. Um, so, you know, I'll pay that all day long if it's, if it's something good. Unfortunately, um... It was a lot of um, just beater books, stuff that wasn't in good shape. But they did have one that I was very interested in. And um, I saw it. It's an issue I already had, but I thought, you know what? You know, I can get that. You know, it's always good to have doubles and, and different things. And maybe I can pass it on to somebody if somebody's trying to put a run together or whatever. But I saw Spawn number 68. And... Uh, for those of you that are aware, there is actually two versions. There's a variant of Spawn 68 <clears throat> that is very rare to find. It's it's kind of hard to find, especially in the wild. And that's the newsstand variant. Well, lo and behold, I paid a dollar and got Spawn 68 in the newsstand variant. And that is actually in really, really good shape. Um, it doesn't have any major ticks. The The one issue, it's dog-eared just a little bit down here on the corner. I don't know if you can see that. But other than that, it's in really good shape. And I was, for a buck? Are you kidding me? All day long. I'll take that. So I was happy to get that. I thought that was pretty awesome. So uh, I have the, the Spawn 68, the regular, and the newsstand. 
And from what I understand, I haven't really looked at it a whole lot. <clears throat> I just kind of know the mythos of it. Um, I was pretty stoked to get that for a, for a dollar. So, um, all right, guys, without further ado, let's jump into the Shelby Comics mystery box. Like I said, the last one I got from Shelby was absolute dynamite. So I am super stoked for this one. Go ahead and pull this mailer off. And I didn't think when I sat down here to grab my usual knife. And I took my work knife out of my pocket when I got home. So let's see what we can do here. All right, we'll set this here. This is the Shelby Comics Mystery Box 2.0. That's awesome. And uh, it's got my name, the comic book preacher right there. Pretty stoked for that. Let's see. That'll work. So, oh, sweet. He always throws in some cool stickers and everything. And I'm digging that one. You guys know I'm a Hulk guy. Love the Incredible Hulk. Glad to get that. Got the Infinity Gauntlet. Cool. And then um, the Shelby Comics stickers. Uh, his Peace, Love, and Comics. Love that. That looks like, a, like an old school hockey logo. I love that. And then I'm going to hold this up here so you guys can check it out. This is a little magnet, but it's got all of his information on there. I hope you can see that. Get it in a little bit closer, maybe. But check out his eBay store. Check him out on Instagram. And he also has a, a YouTube, uh, Shelby's Comics. That's a, the place to be. I'm telling you, that is awesome. Uh, can't I cannot speak highly enough of, of that. So without further ado, again... Always comes in a in a box, packed tightly. Got the BAM sticker there on the, the tissue paper. All right. All right, cool. Well, we'll start this way, I think. And one thing he does that is really cool is he rotates the books in, in the packaging so they're not going to get creased somehow or anything. All right, so let's start off. This is the Amazing Spider-Man 16.1 Variant Edition. That's pretty cool there. That's awesome. I love that. I'm a Spider-Man collector all day long. All right. And here we have the Amazing Spider-Man number 17. And this is the Variant Edition. Looks like it has the Wakandans on the front. That's pretty cool. Always dig that. Ooh, I like this one. That is my lord. Pretty thick. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. I can dig that. Batman number 83, City of Bane. That variant cover. Those are sick. That is one thing that I like about the, the modern Batmans is their variant covers are just absolutely sick. I will take that all day. I'm kind of turning that keep that glare off but that is awesome that's just absolutely cool all right all right the green the new 52 green lantern number four i don't know much about the green lantern um but i know a certain furry um loving comic book collector that does that can tell me everything i need to know about that but that's pretty cool i like that that cover And I don't know, I think that's the A cover, but that is pretty cool. I kept it, keep that glare off. Cool. All right. And Batman and the Outsiders 13 variant cover. That's cool. I like that. That's pretty cool right there. And Carnage on the cover here. It's marked as a ten dollar book let's open it up it's a virgin variant and some of y'all were probably able to tell me just from seeing that how much that was worth and i'm going to fold that tape under so i don't stick my book with it let's hear see this is the web of venom cult of carnage 
number one. Look at that. That is sick. I absolutely love that. And this looks like the Unknown Comics, the Comics Elite and Unknown Comics variant. So that's pretty awesome. I can dig that. That is awesome. See, you know, Shelby outdoes himself every single time. Like there's this whole box is something that I'm going to keep that I'm going to to keep in my personal collection. So um, we got a Venom 20 variant edition. Venom and Carnage on the cover. You just, I mean, you can't beat that. That is so cool. You know, and I, the first time I ordered from him, I kind of told him um, he welcomes you to to let him know your preferences and everything. And I let him know, said I'm a Venom and, and Batman guy and and here we are. I mean, he does not disappoint at all. All right. Dark Knight's Death Metal number one. Oh, that is just absolutely cool. Check that out. That cover is sick. You know, a lot of people didn't particularly like the Death Metal uh, storyline. I love it. I think it's great. I love the art that's in it. That's, that's just sick as can be. All right. Oh, this is cool. Batman the Adventure Continues number one. That's just a cool cover, and that's the the Batman from like the, the animated series artwork. That's cool. I can dig that all day long. Alright, oh, and this is the the big boy of the bunch. Now I know Stevie Lee or Stevie Lee. Stevie B, sorry, I was reading the cover here is uh he's kind of down on this book and, and i'm i'm with him to an extent that everybody has um every collector has a copy of this book because there's like 10 trillion of them printed but check this out i, I bet there's not 10 trillion printed like this this is x-men number one the jim lee i want you to look right there that is an, an uh, authentic autograph with a certificate of authenticity of one Mr. Jim Lee. Oh man, that is so cool. Man, Shelby did not disappoint. I know I got the, the Tyler Kirkham, uh, if you can see up there, right there, yeah. The the Web of Venom, uh, Web of Venom Wraith that's signed by him with the, the certificate of authenticity. And I'm gonna hold on to that. That is just awesome. So I actually, again, I have the, the of course, the X-Men number one in my collection. I don't have that, so that is just absolutely just sick. I love that. That's cool. And that's that's the mystery box. Once again, Shelby Comics comes through in a big way with just a dynamite box. It is the, by far and away, the best box on, uh, the best mystery box that you can find. Um, I like it better than Vantage, than pretty much any of the the other ones I've I've opened so far um not saying that they're not good boxes but consistently Shelby has been just banger after banger so um he's got my vote I I encourage you go check him out uh I think the total for the box it's I think it's a $50 box plus like $12 shipping so you're looking at about 63 bucks this is well worth it again um I'm uh, if I was to, to run him through the, the eBay grinder, I think I'm going to be closer to $100 than I am to the, the 63 65 range. So, Shelby, if you watch this, brother, man, it's just a banger of a box every single time, dude. You do not disappoint. I appreciate it so much. Um, so, go check him out. Again, um, I'm not very um, YouTube savvy, so it's hard for me to, to figure out how to get the links and stuff. And, and I know it's, it's basic stuff but you're not talking to a computer guy, but I'm gonna hold this up again. That's got all of his information. And hopefully you can see that. Go check him out, check out his eBay store. That's where I buy his his uh, mystery box from. Uh, it's awesome. So this uh, about a 15 minute video, but guys, I appreciate you watching. Um, thanks for hanging in there. And uh, quick shout out once again um, to, to Fu and Squatchy for their boxes. I posted a video earlier this week, um, just bangers, it's awesome guys uh awesome job guys and then the whole community that came together that donated books <clears throat> just you guys are awesome so anyway i'm gonna sign off i'm gonna get some food and take a shower and hit the sack and do it all over again guys y'all have a great evening <laughs>